Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another fall inspired video to kick off my fall celebration week. Today we are going to be talking about all of my favorite fall palettes. I had a really tough time narrowing this down so I actually do have quite a few palettes to share with you but I'm going to give my reasoning why I think all of these palettes are great for a fall inspired look and obviously you don't have to buy all of them. So if you guys are interested in hearing my favorite palettes for the fall time, then just keep watching. All right you guys, I really wanted to make sure that I touched on at least a couple of drugstore options in case drugstore is all that you can afford right now. So I have two palettes to share from the drugstore. The first one is the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. This is what it looks like. I just think this is such a beautiful, beautiful fall themed palette. When I think of fall eyeshadow, I think of a lot of obviously oranges and browns as well as like those darker, deeper red tones. And then I also really like like this uh, brown this blue brown shade I think is perfect for the fall time. I'm really obsessed with like camel colors for the fall which you get right here. And then you get this more maroon type of shade. You also have like your shimmery deep brown shade which I think again is for perfect for the fall time. And I also like this sort of emerald shade up here as well. So if you're looking for a more affordable palette for a fall themed look you can pick this up for $5.99 at Ulta. And I think that this is a perfect palette to create some really beautiful fall looks. I also wanted to mention the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. This is what she looks like. You can pick this up for $20 on the Milani website or I got mine for $15 at Walmart. I again really am loving the red shade in this for fall time. I think kind of like those cranberry tones are also really beautiful for fall themed looks. I also think that this smoky blue shade is really appropriate for the fall and then I'm loving and then I'm loving this more coppery orange shimmer shade I think is beautiful. I just dug my nail in it. Um, gold, it has this beautiful liquid gold sort of shade in it that I also think is just perfect to sort of spice up a look. And then again, you have like your camel transition shade um, up there as well. So again, I think this is another beautiful palette for the fall time. And next, I feel like this wouldn't be a fall eyeshadow themed video if I didn't mention the Morphe 350 or the 352. I pulled the 3502 palette just because I feel like this even more so than the 350 original just screams fall. I mean, come on. Like this whole, I'm not sure how to even hold this. This whole top two rows or bottom if you hold it like, like it's supposed to be held. Um, those whole two rows, even like just literally every shade in here screams the fall to me. I didn't use this as much as I should have last fall time, so I'm really excited to get some more use out of it this fall. I'm already thinking of all the looks that I want to create with this, and I am so excited to hop into this this palette. Again, fall just like makes my soul happy, and I just love everything to do with fall. Fall eyeshadow, pumpkin everything. I just, ugh, and I don't know. This just like, when I look at the color scheme in this, it just makes my heart beat so fast thinking about fall time. Next I have two eyeshadow palettes to mention from Huda Beauty. These are her obsession palettes. The first is the Mauve Obsession palette which I actually have on my eyes today. I have been loving this palette. I love mauve tones and I especially think mauve tones are so appropriate in the fall time. This is such a beautiful palette. The, the mattes blend beautifully. The shimmers are beautiful. I mean I just I can't say enough good things about the entire Obsessions palettes line but I just think that this is so appropriate for the fall and I am obsessed and then obviously I couldn't not mention the warm brown palette I mean come on like this is literally fall in a palette these are also really great for travel I always bring my Huda Obsessions palettes when I go traveling just because they're so easy and I have I have four of them right now and if I bring all four they're still like super compact and you can just create so many different looks with them. So these are ones, especially if you have fall travel plans, I would highly recommend checking these out. Next, I have three palettes to mention from Dose of Colors. These are the five pan eyeshadow palettes from them. First, speaking of mauves, I have the Marvelous Mauves palette here. I just think mauves are perfect for the fall time. I think it really speaks to just the whole fall time vibe. So I really like the Mauve Obsessions palette. And then also I have the Baked Browns as well as the Blushing Berries. I think either on their own or these two kind of worked together to create an eye look. I think, gosh, like they're so pretty. I feel like 
this one really is speaking to my fall vibes, but both of these are perfect, perfect palettes to create beautiful fall looks. So if you haven't checked these out, these are also really great quality. They just do have a lot of kick up, so you wanna tap your brush in very, very lightly. Uh, but I do, I love these palettes. This one's kind of a no-brainer, but I also wanted to mention the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. Now this isn't my favorite palette of all time, and I think the quality is kind of subpar. However, I do think that this just kind of speaks to the whole like warm and toasty fall toned vibes. I think like every single shade in here kind of has that like camel toned and then the browns. I think it just, it's very fall-esque. So if you own this palette, I think this is a really great time to pull it out. If you don't own this palette, I may, I, I don't know that I'd recommend going to pick this one up. I'd probably pick any of the other ones over this, but I just wanted to mention this. If it's in your collection, this is a really great time to pull this one out. The most expensive palette that I'm gonna mention in this video is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, this one I'm talking about for a couple of reasons. The first being, I do really like these darker browns for the fall time. Um, and I also like this sort of red green shift color as well as this red, shimmery shade right here but I also think that purple tones are so trendy right now and I think that trend is definitely going to continue through the fall and winter time so I do think if you are looking to splurge on a palette I really like the quality of this the shimmers are phenomenal I actually have this shade right here mixed with the mauve obsessions palette on my eyes right now and I didn't have to go in with a damp brush or anything and I still like the intensity that it gives off so I did want to mention this I do think purple tones for the fall I don't know don't hate me for mentioning a $129 palette but again if you're looking to splurge I think this is also a really good fall palette next I also wanted to talk about the persona identity palette I love this palette it has such amazing quality the mattes are so easy to blend and the shimmers are so intense and beautiful Again, you have your kind of beautiful camel shade as well as this burnt orange. I also like that it offers this purple shade here and then you have your two other deeper matte browns that you can sort of build up a really smoky, dramatic look with, which I love for the fall time. You also have your deep shimmer brown shade, which again, I really, really like. And yeah, I, I think this is also a really great palette for the fall inspired looks. Finally, you guys, I have two ABH palettes to mention, but honestly, I feel like every ABH palette can be considered a fall themed palette. First is the Soft Glam palette. This one, I just absolutely love for the pop for the fall for the fall um again like your beautiful browns you have the mulberry shade which i love this deeper cranberry shade for the fall time i am obsessed i also really enjoy this shimmer shade this kind of like mid-toned red brown shimmer i think is absolutely beautiful i love that it also has like the offerings of the pink it has this pretty dusty rose mauve toned color as or shade as well uh, so yeah, I think this is, again, like this is probably one of the most fall themed palettes or fall inspired palettes for me, at least in my personal opinion, you, you get me? And then finally to round this video out with, this actually isn't going to speak to like the reds and the oranges. This is just one of the trendy fall palettes I want to talk about and it's the Norvina palette. I just think again, the purple tones are going to be so popular and trendy throughout the entire fall but then it also offers the sort of cranberry or maroon shade as well as this beautiful beautiful sort of like yellow orangey brown shade right here which i think is beautiful for the fall time so this one isn't quite as fall theme like you might not look at this and immediately think fall time but i think especially for this especially for this fall with the purple trend kind of being around too i think this is also a really good option after that you guys that is going to conclude all of my favorite palettes for the fall time you'll definitely have to let me know in the comment box below what your favorite fall themed palettes are i'm definitely interested in checking more palettes out i would never say no to checking out a new eyeshadow palette so definitely leave me your comments below other than that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do, don't forget to do so before you go and i'll see you guys in my next video bye